Hey guys, welcome to my my next guide. Today I'm going to bring bringing you a Zenimai Runecrafting guide. Now I thought, uh, like basically, they've nerfed effigies, as you can see by the big cross that effigy right there. Just to make it clear, so basically effigies aren't really the best way to train Runecrafting anymore, and it's back to being Zenimai. So I figured I'll bring a guide for all these people who don't know how to train Runecrafting without effigies, and people who want to train Runecrafting anyway in general. So Zenimai Runecrafting is is actually the best at the minute. However, maybe in the future, possibly in the summer, they will be releasing a new Runecrafting mini game that will increase the XP rates. However, this will still be a good method. And this method can warrant up to about 60k to 65k XP an hour at like 99. However, it's a bit lower at lower levels and probably from about from about 75 it's about 45k upwards per hour, which obviously isn't the fastest XP in the game. However, it's still better than Slayer actually, but it's still it's a very slow skill, but hopefully this guide will teach you how to do it efficiently, because without it, you might be even slower. So, I just want to mention the items you need. Now, these are not all the items, I'm going to show you the gear you want to wear soon. However, this is the majority of what you should have. Obviously you need pure essence, so you can't use rune essence, and you need your pure essence. Basically, just buy as much as you want to stay here, because it's all dependent on how long you want to last. Mind runes, because it costs 10 runes per bank here. So, you just want to buy a massive stock of them because you will be banking a lot. Two banks per run -ish. I think it's two per run. And that will obviously cost 20 mine runes per inventory. So you really need to get them. Because, basically without them, it's training at ZMI isn't efficient because you have to bank somewhere else and it's not very good doing that. You need a Tazar ring, however you don't need a Tazar ring. You can take a ring of dueling, you can take a ring of kinship, any bit, any ring that's close to a bank, but I'd prefer the Tazar ring because it doesn't use charges. However, if you take a ring of dueling, it might run out of charges and then you'd be screwed. But if you take that, you, what you do is when you don't craft enough runes to teleport back to the Zenimai Alder, you'll tell it to a bank, get bank there, and then tell it to the Urania Alder, or Zenimai Alder, as it's also known. Right, you also need an Earth Staff, and this will be one of the items you wield. This is because of the fact you need um, in infinite air rune, um, earth runes because of the fact you need so many to teleport to the Zenimai Alder you'll ba barely ever craft them so you need to have the staff on so that you've got them there already you can also take an Ardune cape, now I think it's Ardune actually but you don't actually need it this will just increase the runes you make by about 15% it won't give you extra XP however it will increase your profits but the profits aren't too good anyway the Abyssal Lurker, now you can get one of these to increase the amount of runes you can run per invent. However, I don't recommend it because it's extra effort. I think it slightly, slightly increases your XP per hour, but it's so much more effort and it reduces your profit also. I just prefer to do it without it because it's more relaxing, it's much easier to do. So I'm going to show you a few more tips and tricks now about filling your bank and what to wear. Right guys, I'm just going to mention what you want to wear. Now, gear-wise, it's a lot of it is optional and a lot of it's not needed, however, they're all recommended really. So, you first you want your Ardy Cape or your Completion Escape because I just like to use it because I'm cool. Helm of Nezinot, but basically you can use any helm, but just something that has some defense because you will be training in a world by yourself. Now, you can go World 70, however, there's a lot of people, and you can also follow people and make it less click intensive but and not get attacked. However, banking is a nuisance because the banker moves around and things like that. You can also just wear a Fury because that gives some defense. You can wear a Glory as well if you want to use that as a teleport option instead of your ring. Air, earth Staff or Mud Staff, basically either the, any staff that has infinite earth, uh, earth runes. You just want to wear some gloves. Now, you obviously you could wear Goliath gloves for better defense. However, obviously they degrade. So what's the point of using something if it degrades? Because you're going to be here for hours. You, you don't want to be using stuff you have to go and repair. Boots of Lightness for to make you run last longer because you will need you run to last. Now, if I go in the bank quickly, you'll see I've got air, um, energy potions too. You need energy potions because of the fact you, if you are going full speed, your run will run out. If you're not going full speed, then it may not run out. However, I just recommend having them just in case. Obviously, 99 agility will help me. However, if you're a low agility level, then that might be a bit more of a problem. Also, so yeah, elemental shield is more defense than magic defense. You want to have your ring, as I've already previously mentioned, the same as I've already mentioned the RDK. I've got no aura on for no reason, so ignore that. And the chest and legs. Now, you want basically you want some mage defense or defense in general. You could go better than bloody high chaps. You could wear like armadillo legs. You could wear, and basically that's as far as I'd go because you could wear ganodermic or pernix. However, again, as I previously said, they degrade, so you don't want the hassle of fixing them. 
and then body, I'd also wear agile top or d head leg or d head body. Now the reason I'd wear agile body is because of the fact it's got weight reduction, and I'm not sure if it's actually got defense, but stats. Yeah, it has got some defense, so it's not. It is a very very good item to have. However, you need 90 agility to get that or lower if you pot, but it's just. Yeah, I know that's quite a high requirement. So if you haven't got that, just wear black d head body. However, you could even use Agile Legs and Dehyde Body if you've got Agile Legs, which is only 85 agility or less. So that's pretty much the summation of your gear. Now, obviously you can improve any item. You can obviously improve Elemental Shield to like a Spectral for more Mage Defense, but anything will do. Even a Blessed Spirit Shield is good. And in your inventory, what you want is basically, you want your four pouches if you're 75 runecrafting above, or you want your three pouches if you're less than 75. Now, if you're less than 75, it may be a problem to craft all the runes you need. So, obviously, when I do a run, I use this teleport here, Rania Teleport, which teleports me just outside here, up this ladder. And, as you can see by the runes you need, you need Laws, Astrals, and Earths. Now, the Earths are covered for by the Earth stuff. However, the Laws and Astrals, for low 75 rune crafting, you've got a decent chance of not crafting them. Because, obviously, it's luck-based. You, cra you craft random runes, which means not all the time you will. However, obviously 75 plus you get a giant pouch, which means you make a lot more runes, and obviously the higher level you go, the better runes you make. So below 75, as you can see, I've got these two runes in my invent, the laws and astrals. Now I keep all my laws and astrals in my invent if you're below 75, so that you can guarantee teleport. However, if you're above 75, you don't need to, because the majority of the time you will craft them. However, on very, on very certain circumstances, you may run out, so I'd click teleport on your ring, and teleport to any of these. The free fight options, preferably, because they're right on banks. Anyone will do. I think the kiln's actually the closest to a bank. So if you teleport there, you can bank. You can fill up your pouches as usual, and you can fill up these. And you can get your runes out to teleport back here. Now, the mine runes are for paying for the bank. As, as you can see, it costs 10 runes. It doesn't say 10, but it costs 10 runes to bank. And it asks you to select which ones you want to pay for bank. Now, I've looked at the prices, and at the current time of making this video, mine runes are the best. Fire runes used to be the best, but they're gone up because of polypore. Uh, but, however, apart from mine runes, body runes are good. Air runes aren't too bad. But, mine runes are your best choice at the minute. And obviously you just pay 10, and that's it. So, another thing I want to mention is fixing your pouches. Now, if you've done the livid farm to a certain point, you'll have this... Where is the rune pouch repair spell? There it is. You can use this spell to repair your pouches. And as you can see, it barely takes any runes. It, all it takes is you tell your runes, which you'll probably make anyway, and your cosmic rune. And it only takes one cosmic rune, and you'll pretty much always create these. So if your pouch degrades, all you do is cast this spell on your pouch, and then you'll you'll fix them. And that is the best way to fix your pouches by a mile. And that's a very, very useful thing to get. I don't think it's very hard. I think it's only the third or second spell you unlock at Livid Farm. So if you do fancy getting 99 rune crafting, you may as well go and get that. Because it doesn't take too long, and I know Livid Farm sucks, but it's not too bad going that far into it. Now, the other way to repair your pouches is the NPC contact spell. So if I just grab some air runes out of my bank and cosmic runes. Do, 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 do. Cosmic runes, do, 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 do. I don't know how many it is. Right, so as you can see, it's one astral, one cosmic, two airs. Now, most of the time, you actually don't craft the airs unless you're below 75 rune crafting. In fact, once you start getting to higher levels, the amount of air runes you produce is so low that it's it's very rare occasions that you actually do craft these. So when you want to use this, you just mean most of the time you just want to grab the air rune out of your bank or the air rune. But as you can see, you want to just scroll down to the dark mage, speak to the dark mage. It takes a little while to cast this animation, and then hello, just hold hold space bar, hold space bar, and then it'll come up with the option: Do you want to repair my pouch? However, I'll show you again later in the video when I get my pouch to degrade, so I can show you properly. And another thing to mention about the rune repair pouch, actually, is that it take, it makes your pouch, um, pouch last longer. If you read the text, and strengthens any degraded rune pouch. This makes it last about, it's an insanely amount of time longer. It will You will really notice it barely ever degrades again. So that's another reason for getting that spell. And the other thing I want to mention is you also want to have a full bank. Now, I haven't got a full bank at the minute, but I'm going to get a full bank before I start recording me doing runs. However, it's very important because... If I craft a load of runes, obviously, as you can see, I've got four types of rune there, but obviously I'll have more. It possibly will be like 10, 11 types of different rune. And as you can see, to bank them all, you've got to right-click them all, right-click them all, and do that. However, if I've got a full bank, and I've got all the items out I need, 
I can just click this little button here, deposit carried items. It won't bank the pouches and this these runes here because I've got a full bank. It'll already bank the things that I can bank because I've already got them in the bank. So that's what I want to mention as well. You When you have the items in your invent, you want to have them there while you got a full bank. So the best way to get a full bank is to get armor sets and things like that, which I'm going to go and show you now. So I'm going to go to the GE and then show you me buy some armor sets. Right, so I've got, I'm in the GE and I need to fill up my bank. So the things I do, I just search bronze and I'll find the set. Any set will do. It's one. Whack it in the cheap anyway and just buy loads. I didn't buy rip. Iron legs. One. I'm just going to increase this off. I, want, I need to make sure it buys 10k. There we go. Steel. Do, 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 do. So this is basically what you want to do, you just want to buy all these sets because the fact that these are one items, however, when you want it, so basically what, when you want to use the bank, when you're not runecrafting, you can set them at the G and you can keep them in your bank, however, when you want to runecraft, unset them and your bank will be filled again because obviously there's many items in the set, I think black will probably be quite expensive because it's just, it looks pretty damn awesome, like 21k, holy shit. So there's many items you can buy, basically just anything you want, you can buy loads of weapons, like bronze, you can just buy a bronze arrow, I mean, there's many cheap items you can just grab, it's quite easy to get them, now I'm just going to pull these out, and set them, Do -do -do -do. oh you've got to set them on the G, that's annoying, exchange, 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 so as you can see I've got many items there and it didn't take me long to get them, so I'll just whack them in my bank. Do 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 do, spam click, spam click, spam click. And I've filled up many, like 12 spaces already. So I'm going to do this until I've got a full bank and I'll unpause when I've got a full bank. Right guys, so I've managed to fill my bank up. So now I'm ready to start runecrafting. So the first thing you want to do is you want to use this teleport spell here, the level 71 spell. And you will teleport to the Urania altar, or the Zenimai altar as it's ever worth known. And you, all, you want to set your quick prayers. And you want to set them as range and your best healing prayer. Because you want to keep your HP up. And this altar here is why you'll keep your prayer on the, all the time. You'll keep it on all the time because it's less effort than switching it off and switching it on when you don't need. And it will really just save you some effort because, I mean, you'll end up forgetting to turn it on and turn it off. But you can pray at this altar almost every run whenever you need prayer. And that'll um, make sure you can keep your prayer on. So as you'll come down here, you'll see the bank as I've showed you before. And you, the first thing you want to do is talk to him. You just want to talk and quickly bank. This means that you'll not you'll stay in place and not walk around, which is one of the nuisances in World 70, which is why I like to do it in my own world. And praying range and stuff, you should be fine anyway. So you want to use the click mine runes, and you'll have your essence and energy potions near the top of the bank for quick exit, as I've described before. So you want to click all, withdraw all, fill up your pouches like this, withdraw more, fill up your pouches like this. Now, as you can see, I've positioned them like directly below each other so it's similar to mouse keys you click one and then click the next one because it's already in place the right click so click click and you're already on the next one so that'll save you a lot of time that's why I've positioned them as I have now you can do this setup anywhere in your inventory you can do them at the top which is probably actually more convenient just I like to have them at the bottom and then you just run south run east now as you can see there's lots of different creatures but you should be able to barely take any damage your healing prayer should do enough so as you get to the altar you want to click it now, as you can see, it before MD used to be here, however, to change it, you want to click these two pouches and then do the other two and then click this teleport here, Arania Alder. Now, if you're on below 75 rune crafting, you'll most likely not craft the runes, but however, that's as I said, you'll have them in the Elder. So, I'm going to do another run. So, as you can see, my prayers are at 600, which is probably still enough to do another run, so I'm not going to waste the time praying. It doesn't take long, but so it's so, a symbol, talk to the bank again. And now, as you'll see, I've got a full bank. So this is why it's perfect. Look, deposit all my runes gone. Now, how long must it have took to do? If I had 12 items there, to right-click all, bank all, bank all, bank all, bank all, it would have took forever. So that's why this is such an important factor in your XP gains here. So simple again. Now, if you've got a familiar, you'll have to close the bank and re-enter the bank. This will cost you mine runes, and another re that's why it costs a lot of profit to do this. So as you can see, you can bank extremely quickly. So, I'm just going to run straight down here, past all this little newbie creature who's nearly dead. So, past all these, and run straight east back to the other. Simple as this, and this is how exactly how it goes. So, then you'll craft the runes. Now, I'm going to keep on doing this until I get like my pouches to degrade, so I can show you. It might take a while, but I'm not going to record it all. So, just empty them, 
and let's pretend that I didn't craft enough laws and astros. As you can see, I've made loads. But that's because I'm 99 rune crafting, and I've got the RDK, which most of you should have. But 99 rune crafting is such a big bonus. I'm going to just turn it off. And that's why I'm crafting loads of runes. However, when you're 75 or 80 rune crafting, you might not craft enough. And therefore, you want to have this backup ring, as I've described before. So if you don't craft enough, and you see this telly's faded out here, what you want to do is you want to right click this, teleport, and tell about a fight kiln or any of the banks will do. You'll get here, bank to Zarket. Just you want to grab your um, law and two astrals straight away. Teleport to Orani Elder and continue like nothing happened. And then you'll obviously I've already banked the runes, but you'll just fill up your essence as usual, as I'll show you in a sec. Now I'm gonna pray because I'm only 300 prayer. I may run out this run, so I'm just gonna make sure. Climb down the ladder. As usual, just bank at the bank. So as you can see, I already got the runes in already got the runes gone out of my infant. Just withdraw. Fill up. Fill up. Simple as that. So obviously if you're level less than 75, you will not have this giant pouch, which you've so you basically do the same technique. However, I'd have the medium pouch by itself. Say I haven't got the giant pouch. And then I'd have the small combined with the um, large. No, what am I on about? You want the small combined with the medium and the large by itself. This way you'll definitely have enough space in your invent when you withdraw them because of the fact that you're doing the two small ones and then just the large one by itself. So you're not getting many wings. I think that's nine as a combination and nine for that as well. So you just have as long as you've got nine spaces you should be fine, which is plenty. So the other thing I want to describe is when your pouches die, as I've already kind of explained before. So I'm just gonna runecraft myself until they die so I can explain what to do. So I'm gonna unpause when I get to that. Right, so as you can see, after I filled up the pouches that run my pouch is actually degraded. So as you can see, it goes black and you get a little message in your game box saying your pouch is decayed through use. So I'm gonna run down to the elder. I'm gonna craft my runes and then explain what to do. So I'm just gonna run straight down, as usual. See my HP is staying at 990, pretty much. Now this prayer is obviously having a big impact because I'm healing five times faster. Other things you can do is wear a regeneration bracelet instead of your barrel's gloves and that'll increase your HP boosting. So you wanna run to the elder, as usual, just empty pouches. Obviously you don't get as much out of your giant pouch this time. So you get a little less experience this run. And as you can see, I haven't crafted the runes for NPC. Sorry, my phone's going off. So as you can see, I haven't crafted the runes for NPC contact, because I haven't got the air runes. As I said, you barely ever craft them at high levels. But I've got the, root, the essence for rune repair pouch. So let's say I haven't unlocked rune repair pouch though, because that's obviously you just use it, cast it on the spell and it's done. Nothing to explain about that. So I'm just going to tell you to the altar and run to the bank as usual. Did why I turned prayer off. So let's run around. So after after I would show you this pouch repair, I'm gonna show you a few runs sped up, just so you can see me doing it full speed without explaining. And I'm gonna put some relaxing music on while I do it. So get to the bank. Now it needs two air runes, so I'm just gonna grab a few air runes. Obviously sometimes it will make these, and then I'm gonna NPC contact. Scroll down to Dark Mage, <laughs> wait for the animation, yawn, and then you get 63 magic. So you would! So you just hold spacebar, hold spacebar, and then it's two. So hold spacebar until you get the three messages. Spacebar obviously you won't do anymore, so you're gonna just press two. Can you repair my pictures? Hold spacebar, and then you're done. Look, it's fixed. And back in, back into the bank. So obviously, when you don't craft enough air runes, it'll cost you an extra bank. However, that's no hassle. And then back to filling up your pure essence. So simple as that. That's how you repair your pouches. And I re really recommend having. It's obviously 67 mage, so it's not a high level, and you'll already have 71 for around your teleport anyway. So it's no problem at all. So I'm going to do a few more runs and I'm going to show you them sped up so that I can, so you can see me doing it full speed. You can see exactly anything that I've missed out. So basically that's, that's everything that I need to tell you, I think. However, so let's show you them a few runs now. yeah and before that music gets taken down by YouTube for copyright you just know it's gonna happen doing it it's that it's that brilliant 
Anyway, so thanks all for, for the video, guys, and I hope you this is. I hope you've enjoyed it and found it really helpful. I hope this has taught you a good way to train runecrafting without using effigies, because effigies are just not practical to get um, together anymore, because they really are so rare. Although I did get four bandos and 49 kills the other day, but that was insanely lucky. I mean, the chances of that must be so slim. But wow, I can't believe I got that. If you look at my A level, you'll see it. But thanks for watching, guys, and really, I hope this has helped you a lot, because I put a lot of time and effort into this guide. It's taken quite a while to make this. So I hope this has really helped, as I've said it about 10 times now, but yeah. And thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you tomorrow for another video.